The loosening state restrictions has some uttering a word they haven't said in almost a year. Tourism. Well, now phase two counties are hoping to lure people stuck in phase one to their towns. Take a look at this map. Counties in the brighter color moved to phase two on Monday. That means a limited opening when it comes to indoor dining and fitness centers. But look a little bit closer. Some people are just minutes away from loosened restrictions. Kingston in Kitsap County is in phase one, but hop on a ferry and you're in downtown Edmonds in phase two. Eric Wilkinson tonight reports on what all of this means for businesses. Snohomish County will be in phase two come Monday morning, and the city of Edmonds is just a short 30 minute ferry ride from neighboring Kingston, which remains in phase one. And those folks will be welcomed here with open arms and warm indoor seating. The table is being set for restaurants to take an important step toward getting back to business as usual. We will be able to bring back more employees and increase the staff hours. Jeff Barnett runs the Salish Sea Brew Pub in Edmonds. When indoor dining was banned last year, he turned his dining room into a merch shop. Now that people are being allowed back inside at 25% capacity, he'll be able to add five more tables, about 30 customers at a time. And Jeff believes some of those customers will be coming from neighboring cities like Kingston, still stuck in phase one. I think people are stir crazy and ready to get out of their house. Yes, we will wind up with a bit of tourism involved with this. Every day we stay restricted uh, puts us one day closer to closing forever. Meantime, on the other side of the sound, people will still be eating outside in tents. The Kingston Ale House struggling to survive. Those folks question the governor's plan when he knows people will cross county lines for an indoor meal. Owner Tony Clark just hopes his customers will come back. Uh, I would just say, hey, um, if you go over to Edmonds, have a, have a good time. Please be safe. But think about us when you come back tomorrow and maybe come see us. Back in Edmonds, concerns of a different sort. COVID is still claiming victims. This popular Edmonds restaurant had to temporarily close this week after a coronavirus exposure. Jeff Barnett believes welcoming tourists back inside will be a risky experiment. How apprehensive are you to return to some indoor seating? Of course, we're worried. You know, we're worried all the time, but we, we do we do expect that that people are going to be good about this. We've had a year to learn how to self-monitor and how to take care of ourselves and how to respect each other. We should have learned by now. Health officials remind you you shouldn't be crossing county lines for any non-essential travel in order to keep coronavirus contained and they will be checking. They say they will be looking at the numbers every two weeks and if they go up, these regions will roll back. In Edmonds, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.